How's it going everyone, Bainey here. Uh, in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a slideshow ad um, inside of a conversion ad. And what a slideshow ad is, it's a pretty cool feature inside Facebook where you just upload five or six pictures and it turns it into a slideshow and actually makes it a video. So pretty cool if you don't have the budget to make a video or you don't really know how to make videos, you can just upload five or six photos and Facebook will turn it into a slideshow and make it a video for you. So. Pretty cool, so I'm gonna show you how to do that today. Uh, if you're following along guys and you like my videos, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and leave me a comment below, and feel free to share this video with any friends that you think might be interested in learning something about Facebook ads. Uh, that being said, let's just jump into it. So I'm going to take this ad here, which is a cold audience ad, and I'm just gonna, because it's got a winning um, audience in it, with my winning audience was parents, so what I want to do is I want to replicate, I want to duplicate this ad, name it, probably only going to start on about $80 a day to start with. What I'm going to do is I want to come in here and I want to just delete the other two. So I just want parents. And open up and just see what the setup's like, make sure nothing's changed. I don't want dynamic creative. Yeah, this looks good. The reason why I'm excluding these, this is a purchase custom audience and a page view custom audience 30 days. Um, I, I'm excluding those because I just want new audiences to see these ads. Parents or so there's my interest, I'm using parents or, and I'm gonna leave this ticked. I'm gonna uh, have expanded audiences ticked. So I wanna keep that, keep it on automatic. I'm gonna keep it on one day click and view as well. Uh, cost control, I'm gonna leave it as is for now. now. I just wanna come over to the ads level and I wanna delete, I'm not gonna be using any of them, but I just wanna delete two and then edit the other one. So we're on the ad level, we're actually creating the ad now. So I want to come to create ad, so I've used existing. Single video, single image or video. And then we come down here and go create video. What I can do is I just upload, you know, I can upload photos or I can um, pick some that are already in my account, which some of them are going to be. So the ones that I want is, this is one of them. Oh, so I want to use this one here. Um, I want to use that product as well, but I don't like that photo because it's a bit long and I just don't think it's going to work well. So I couldn't find the ones on there, so I'm just going to upload, upload them from my computer. Hit upload anywhere from 2 to 15 images. So obviously you want to keep it somewhere in the middle, around 7 or so. 5 to 7 would probably be better. 15 is probably a bit too much, but... It's up to you. Lucky last. And these products, I just went on Shopify and I just seen which products have been selling well the last 30 days and these have been the top products. So I thought I might as well use them in an ad. So once you have selected your images, you want to come down here and you want to pick what sort of slideshow you want. So they've got the different options. You've got a slideshow, which looks like this, or you can have it so it slides. You could have add some extra text and stuff to it. I don't really like that one. I don't mind this second one with the with the swipe. So what I'll do is I come in here and go to edit. And to be honest, you come through here. You can pick uh, seconds per scene. Uh, actually, I might just leave it. I might just leave it at two seconds. You come through here and you can probably edit some of the photos if you wanted to. Uh, crop them stuff like that. These are all fairly basic images So I'm gonna leave them as is for the time being and you can come down here and just hit play and see what it looks like okay, So the video goes for 12 seconds in total, which is good the average watch time is eight seconds on Facebook So 12 seconds is perfect So 
adds it to the stories too. 12 seconds keeps it in perfect stories. So yeah, I'm happy with that. I'm gonna go ahead and create a video while that's uploading. Let's give it a sec. Once that's uploaded, we can go and finish off the rest of the ad. So we wanna add our, our copy in here. So luckily I've done up some earlier. All right, put my headline in. Sometimes I might even add these two little arrows, you know, pointing them towards the shop now button. Mm. See this, see all these little black boxes here on the right hand side? This is what happens when you copy paste something from, you know, Word document or, or like your notes or something like that. So we want to come in and make sure we delete those because they're not very good looking. So girls was another one. Swimmers and tees. Girls. So what you do is you just click where it is and then you backspace. All right, now that those little boxes are all gone, I just want to quickly skim over it, make sure it's all good. Travel, free shipping. Yeah, got my headline there. How does it look? Actually, I need to put my URL in there, but before I do that, you won't have to worry about this section. Uh, it's just a section I use for my custom tracking, so just ignore that. Grab this URL. I'm just going to go to the home page. Because it's a slideshow, I can't really, you know, link it to each product, so I'll just go to the, go to the home page. Hmm. These two little arrows just made that drop down in the next box. What I might actually do is get rid of them. That should make it look better. Yeah, that looks better. That looks way better. Perfect. Okay. What I need to do is that all looks good. I want to X out of this. Let me go back to the add set. And I want to duplicate it three times. And this is what I'm going to do this time. So just duplicate it. Same interest, same everything. Um, I'm going to call this parents. Parents one. Parents two. Parents three. So we go to parents one, I'm going to edit it, come to the ad, and all I want to do is I want to just change the, first I want to change this, so I need to call it parents one, and I just want to change this text. So really I'm just changing this very top bit here. So I'm just, just split testing the headlines, or the top of the headline anyway. So I've got a different version here. That looks good. Everything else stays the same. Headline, all the text. The only thing I'm changing is this, this top text here. And the reason I'm changing that is because when you see an ad, um, all they see is the first two or three lines before you get that little see more button. So it's important to, to split test those first two or three lines because they're all that a lot of people read before they hit the see more button. So it's really important just to split test this top part. Um, so that's all I want to do there. Make sure I've named it, split one. Cool. What I want to do is go back to the ad set level, go to parents two, go to edit. Everything in here will all be the same, so you don't even have to worry about it. It's all the same, all the same. Go over to the ad. I want to call it Parents 2. Come down here. And I'm just changing this text again.
Make sure it all looks good. Yep, cool, that looks good. Not sure nothing else has changed. Sometimes these untick. Always got to be ticked, but they all look good. Go to my last one. Go back to the ad set level. So parent three. Like I said, don't have to change any of this, so go straight to the ad. Call it parents three. Again, just changing that top sentence. Cool. What I might do, I might just for my purposes, I just I just seen something pop up underneath this button here and I didn't really like what it said. So I want to check what it looks like on my phone. So I want to go to send notification to Facebook. So I'm going to send that to my phone. And what that's going to do is it's going to send a notification to my Facebook. I'll just click it, open it, and make sure it looks good on my phone. Okay, now that, that all looks good on my phone. So quickly run over what it looks like. I've got the one campaign spending $80 a day. Inside of that campaign, I've got the same interest Split, to, split testing it four times with one ad, but the only different on the ad is the very top sentence, the very top one or two lines. So that's exactly how I wanted it set up. And then after a couple of days, I'll come in and see which one's going the best, and then we'll go from there. So hopefully you get some value out of that, guys. Um, I'm just going to go through and publish it. I should publish, no worries. Oh, I should have should have probably set it. Uh, to start the next day, but it can start straight away. That's fine For best practices you probably should start it Now that it's in review. I'm not going to edit it. So it's too late now um, But for, you know for, for best practices, I probably should have start, started that the next day But yeah, I forgot I forgot all about it. So it's too late now, but it'll, it'll be fine Hope you got some value out of that guys if you have any questions, let me know uh, hit the subscribe button hit that like button and um, share this video with a friend and I'll see you on another video. Thanks guys